Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I want to show you today about soldering wires together. There's literally every week uh, some kind of repair that I got to do on the wiring for somebody and uh, I solder wires together all the time and all the time I'm repairing stuff that I see done by other people where they just twist wires together I use the butt connectors so this is the right way to do it it's easy and uh, a lot of people are intimidated by soldering but you know it's it, it's really simple so first let me show you what tools you're gonna need first I got this like cheapest soldering gun look how uh, crappy it is uh, I mean if I can solder with this anybody can do it so you can buy this in um, uh, probably a hardware store assortment of shrink wrap I'm almost out of the most common one that I use but I got this from uh, advanced auto parts uh, uh, this is a 6040 uh, got it in Ace hardware store and and the lighter to heat up the, the, the shrink wrap and that's about it so let me show you how simple this is I got my uh, soldering gun hot and ready so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat each individual wire so you just heat up this wire the resin is just going to melt on easily So I, I'm going to code my wires first. Don't be shy with the resin. So let me show you what it looks like. You can see here how the the resins attach nicely to the uh, the wires so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get um, pieces of the the heat shrink that I that I'm gonna use okay I got my two pieces uh, ready I'm gonna put them on the wires And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to attach these pieces together. So now you, you coated your wires individually. You're going to heat it up, but now it, it goes quick because you're basically just heating up the resin. And put the wires next to each other like this. Do not twist them together. Do not do any goofy stuff like that. And uh, you're just going to run this heat shrink over, heat it up you got the same diameter it's professional looking that's what you want so we'll do the other one this is how easy it is same thing here run this over I'm gonna heat it up and it's done so this is the detail of the finished product. Uh, as you can tell, it's a it, it it's same thickness. It's not going to mess you up if you got to run wires through tight spots, and it's it's as strong as uh, as anything. So um, let me show you another example when the wires are dirty or, or blacked or kind of worn out. What to do because if you don't prep them, they won't stick together. So uh, another scenario coming okay guys sometimes you're gonna have a wire like this it's kinda dark it, they could even look worse than this I just couldn't find one at the moment I just take a little bit of sandpaper and uh, and just uh, try to clean uh, clean the, the wire up until you see it nice and shiny uh, it's really important that the wire all the individual strings are nice and bright. Then uh, got my other wire here that is fine. So um, after you clean it like this, same thing. You're just gonna heat the wire up first. 
It might take a second. Coat it up. See, when the wire is really bad, even after you clean it, it takes a longer and, and it usually smokes a little more. But there you go. We'll do the other side. This one should be quick. Finally join these guys together just like before. So there you go, this is what it looks like. So even with the wire that's been uh kind of dirty and looks bad, you can uh you can accomplish nice uh solid joint. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. I really recommend soldering your connections instead of using a butt connector. So subscribe if you find this helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.